So here are a few tips I thought I'd share with everyone how I've set up my Z62's autofocus. Okay, so here's my custom settings for autofocus. Some have asked of what I've been using. I'm using autofocus continuous set to release priority, of course. Uh, nothing special here. I have my focus tracking with lock on set in all the tests to default, but I do tweak that and I get easy access through that through the my menu settings. All focus points are used so I can use uh, the select all single area points if I want. And I do modify the limited area. Right now it's just only got single point available and of course the auto area for people. But again, this is going to be easy access through my, my menu settings. Now I do map my custom functions. As you'll see here, function one is set to adjust autofocus area mode. So auto or single or whatever I've got preset. And AF on, of course, through the back button release. I'm using the sub selector to be able to recenter my single focus point if I want or a wide area box if I need to. I do map functions to my lenses. So in this case, the AF on button uh, for my 70 to 200 is mapped to one of the function buttons. And I use that uh, lens control ring to adjust manual auto settings. I like to be able to easily access my focus tracking. So I've set function button two, so I can just tap it and turn focus tracking on and off. Sub selector of code, of course, allows me to move my focus point around. That's nothing special. And then I've mapped my menu to the movie record button. And that's going to give me easy access to all the settings I like. My second function button, my, my lens, allows me to do the, again, focus tracking. So here's my menu. It's been mapped. And uh, as you can see, I'm able to easily access the autofocus area mode selection. And I can just turn on areas like, in this case, the animal. And that's through my menu. Tweaking the focus tracking, again, through my menu. So I've added all these in custom according to what I like ability to turn off the live view. Sometimes that impacts studio work. And uh, I find that really helpful. So let's just go back to the viewfinder. So I'm just going to switch between autofocus area for people and single point and animal just by using my function one button and then using my command dial. You can see I can switch very easily. And again, I've added the animal area by going into the my menu presets that I've got in my uh, my menu using function button two to turn on that focus tracking and I can tap it on and off according to what I like there it's off by just hitting function two so I find that really helpful because I've kind of got two autofocus settings in one when I'm using auto area or auto area people or auto area animal there it is again just by tapping function two so that's helpful now I can turn off the auto area for animals by just going in through my menu that's off my, again, movie record button. So there's my settings. I hope that you found that helpful. It gives you some ideas of how you may want to set up your camera according to your individual shooting style.